My next guest is a lady called Lindsay LeCue. She's organised some fantastic events. Take a quick look at this. Lindsay, thank you so much for joining me on today's show. Okay. That looks fantastic. Now, tell us a little bit about what you do. Yeah, so I run a vintage and retro events company. Mm -hmm. So we basically put together any kind of events that transport people back into any era, so from the 1920s right up to 1960s, 70s. So what you saw there was a kind of 1940s themed event. Okay, and how did you get involved in that? Um, I used to do project management, so it's kind of natural link with event management there, um, simply organising and that sort of thing. And then just a real personal passion in terms of the fashion and the glamour and all that sort of thing of eras gone by really so combine the both and that's what sort of came together as the business oh fantastic and I love what you're wearing today Thank you. as well. <laughs> oh, very nice Thank you. so yeah. what can people expect if they wanted to come to one of your events what sort of thing would they uh, yeah would they get involved in it varies hugely we do um, pick and mix kind of party packages so if it was your hen night or girls night in they can have tutorials learn how to do their face and do their makeup and hair uh, you know like their favorite screen siren you know Marilyn Monroe whatever it is or um, they can learn any dance class they like we do Charleston rock and roll jive anything burlesque or they can um, have afternoon tea so proper crockery and cupcakes Ooh. and you know sit and listen to vintage music and you know do anything really so we do all of that and then we have mm -hmm. big ticketed events like you saw um, where people can come along watch live music mm -hmm. live DJs dance you know all that sort of thing Wow and you work predominantly in the Midlands region is that right Yeah, that's where I'm based okay yeah, and so how has that impacted the community there because it must be something that they yeah. just love to see because it is so different and so unique yeah I've had a really really good response I think this kind of thing goes on quite a lot in the big cities but when you uh, bring it to small towns people absolutely love having something different to do mm -hmm. something to enjoy some uh, you know a way that they can dress up in quite extravagant clothes but feel safe in an uncomfortable environment they're not going to get laughed at in a bar or whatever like that <laughs> and they can be themselves and be creative and and do that in a really fun environment so I've had a really good response from people they love it and they come back again which is great that is excellent and how important do you think it is to kind of get involved in the community and you know yeah. build a strong kind of network within the community yeah Absolutely. I mean, I, I were, you know, we do offer our services nationally, but I just really enjoy doing it, you know, in my hometown, bringing something where I grew up and I know that there wasn't those kind of things to do. So it's just nice to, you know, do your big flagship events at a mm. local bar. It really helps them get off the ground because it's bringing people in and mm. Yeah, it's just really pleasant to do it in an environment where, you know, people that you know come along and say, oh, wow, well, I can't believe you're doing this now. And I think as well, it sounds like a real family event, which is yeah. really good that every part of the family can take part yeah. and get involved in and just have some yeah. fun. Because I think we've lost a little bit of that, haven't we, yeah, in recent days? We absolutely. kind of, you know, it's so, not so much about bringing the family together and yeah. creating that unit. So yeah, people always bring their mums along when they <laughs> come and have a dance class, yeah, which is nice, yeah. Oh, that is lovely. Yeah. Well, also with regards to what you do, as I say, it's, it's very niche and it's something really, really unusual. And mm -hmm. I've noticed as well that there's a lot more vintage shops popping up here, there yeah, and, and everywhere. My daughter went shopping recently and came back with yeah. you know, a lot of vintage clothing, which yeah. I thought was really nice because when you mm. have your high street stores, you see a lot of people wearing the same things day yeah. in, day out, but yeah. with like what 
what you've got on it's something different yeah you know? I think people are really looking to that and I think a lot of people have asked me recently why are we um, why do you think vintage and retro is so popular right now you know and is it linked to the recession are people looking back and yeah. I think it's nice you know we we don't have um, a dress code as such you have to dress in a certain way to come to our events but we do say oh we encourage it you know come along dress up and people can go out and buy a vintage dress off eBay or whatever for 10 quid, 20 quid, and look really glamorous and nice, but they don't have to spend a lot of money, and maybe that links in quite nicely. People are looking back at, at previous times and kind of fondly looking back when we're in all this world at the moment that's just so full of troubles and everything. Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah. So would you encourage somebody to go out and either participate in something that you're doing, or maybe set up something you know yeah. different, that, but that bonds the community together and that yeah brings people together more absolutely anything I mean I've seen loads of things loads of uh, charity tea parties and that seems to be a really good way now you know get you all your friends together advertise it out go and buy some crockery from a you know charity shop mm -hmm. they get the money from that get some cakes made and c charge a couple of quid get everyone together put pretty dresses on you have a lovely day mm -hmm. and everyone's a winner and, and don't you know and that sort of thing so yeah I would highly encourage that it's a lovely day out and <laughs> <laughs> everyone's a winner so yeah oh it sounds fantastic yeah. Lindsay I'll have to get myself down yeah, there absolutely come <laughs> along <laughs> so if any of our viewers are watching today how can they find out a little bit more information about your events because you have quite a few don't you I know your yeah. Facebook page is always yeah. updated with various <laughs> yeah. things that you're doing so how yeah. can they find a little bit more uh, information on what you're doing and where um, yeah we're on Facebook so Le mm -hmm. events which is L-E-K-E-U-X mm -hmm. events or we have a website um, www.lequeueventscouk and that's the main things really you just contact us and yeah get in touch Lovely. Oh, Lindsay. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure having thank you, you on the much. show. So thank you so much for joining us. Good luck with future events. Thank I'm you. sure I'll be popping down <laughs> to, to the We'd next to one. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. And thank you for joining me on today's show. No problem. Thank you. This is the section where you get to express your thoughts and your opinions and email me through any questions that you'd like me to answer. Don't forget the email address is info at timewithnatalie.com. Okay, first up we have an email from China from Rugby. Okay, I'd like to get involved in charity work and fundraising for an organisation but I'm unsure about where to start and where to find information. Can you help? Sure, China. Okay, firstly think about what sort of organisation that you would like to help fundraise for. So what are your interests? What is it? Are there any particular companies out there that really, you know, pull at the heartstrings that you'd like to donate some money to? When you've figured that out, then think about what sort of activity you'd like to do. So would you like to do maybe a fun run? Maybe organise something where you and your friends do three miles or five miles or something. Um, maybe you can do a girls' night in where you arrange for all your friends to come round and uh, maybe swap clothes or maybe cook dinner, something like that. Maybe you can wash cars or any, anything like that that you can think of that you'd like to do. It really isn't so much about the idea, it's about really just bringing everybody together and helping raise as much money as you can. I recently did something for the Prince's Trust myself where I arranged a, uh, a women's inspirational evening and that consisted of makeup artists, we had hairstylists, boutiques, we had guest speakers come in and I charged £10 per ticket. All the ladies came, they had a wonderful evening, all went away with fabulous goodie bags. And that's the other thing as well, you can contact your local stores and ask them if they wouldn't mind donating something. So, you know, you've got your main high street stores that, you know, you'll be surprised at how willing they are to um, actually give you something to, to, to boost your activity and to help you. So I hope that that gives you some ideas to go away with. Please write in and let me know how you get on. Thank you.